Yo, welcome back guys. It's been a while. I'm sorry, I've not been present. There's just been bucket loads going on. It's Thursday, 28th of March, and by the time you guys see this, I'll have ridden 1,300 kilometers north across five days from my home base outside of Girona to a country that is as rich in bike history as it is fans and culture. I'm talking about Belgium, and I'm riding my specialized Roubaix up to Paris-Roubaix for the big event. Before I go, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you my bike, just how I've got it packed up and all of the things I'll be taking with me for life on the road. So guys, this is the bike. It's a 2024 Specialized Roubaix SL8. This is the same bike I rode across to Portugal on last year. And in case you missed that, here's a link to that video above. The Roubaix is my go-to bike. It's uber fast, uber compliant, and ticks every single box when it comes to munching big mileage. The Future Shock up front is a game changer and takes all of the buzz out of the road while remaining agile and responsive. A 56 centimeter frame, as you can see, I've got loads of room for bags, bottles and the like. The 1300 kilometer journey will see me riding through all different landscapes and regions. And so I've gone with the 35 mil Mondo tires laced to my Reval Rapide CLXs in a full tubeless setup. The reason I'm running the Rapides as opposed to the stock Terrors is that I'm wanting to test these wheels out in windier, hillier conditions in preparation for my next FKT attempt across the north of Spain on the Camino de Santiago. 44 centimeter specialized shallow drop bars and a full SRAM red group set. I've got 4835 up front and a 1036 on the rear. The only real quirk here is that I'm running 165 millimeter cranks to help open up my hips. I'm running a zero offset seat post with a 143 specialized power saddle. Navigation will be taken care of by my Garmin 1040 Solar, and I'm hoping for sunny conditions so I can make the most of the unit's solar capabilities. I'm also on the Garmin Rally Road Pedals and we'll be using the InReach Mini so that you guys can keep a track of where I'm at. Bag and equipment wise, I'm gonna break this down into each of the different bags. The rear bag, which is mounted on an air rowy rack, will house all of my cycling and non-bike clothing. I've gone pretty light here just because I don't have a whole lot of space. I've got a pair of Birkenstock, which give my bag rigidity, and then I'll stuff my arm and leg warmers, shoe covers and gloves in case it gets fresh early in the mornings in and around the Birks. I've got a puffer jacket, which I'll use both on and off the bike if needed, a pair of running shorts, a t-shirt, along with a long pair of packable trackies track pants for those that aren't Australian. I've got all my toiletries stored in a Ziploc bag and my electronic cables jammed in here too. And that's basically it. There's no space for anything else. As you can see, I'm running a mini Camelback saddlebag, which is filled with my spares. Three spare tubes, three gas canisters, a plug kit, tire lever, patches, and batteries. This bag is bigger than your normal saddlebag. And so I've also got room to stuff my rain jacket in here too. My frame bag will be jammed full of goo goodies along with some standard snacks just so that I remain fueled throughout the day. Obviously, I can't take heaps of food with me, so a lot of this stuff I'll have to buy at supermarkets en route. I've also got some homemade tire boots in here just in case, sun cream, my front light, and a small emergency backpack along with a hand pump, and that completes the frame bag. There's a little extra space in here and I'll probably use that to stuff additional food and wrappers in along the way. The tailfin top tube bag will be for small things on route. I've got my headphones in there, my phone itself, my wallet, and perhaps I'll stuff a little bit of extra food in there. I tend to use this as my get out of jail free card when I overbuy at the shops. Up front, I've got a pretty typical bar bag. This trip I'll have my camera with me because I've actually been enjoying trying to get a bit more creative behind the lens. And so I'll be storytelling through images as I go. There may also be a jar of Vegemite in there, but that's still to be decided. Ah, I almost forgot my lighting setup. I'll be running two BMW rear lights, both of which will be mounted to my AeroE rack. Up front, I'll mount a BBB front light, but because I'm a sucker for symmetry in a neat cockpit, I'll keep this stored until if and when I have to use it. Kit-wise, I'll be in the Specialized Prime range, which I'm digging, along with the torch lay shoes, Evade helmet, I am worried it might get cold as I head north, and my Oakley Radars, classics. That's everything, I guess. I don't think I've missed anything. I'll find out in a few days time if I have. Got questions? Hit me below. Going to Roubaix? Let me know. I'll be doing the Grand Fondo a few days beforehand, and it would be sick to ride with some of you guys if I can. Stay well.